I'm Julie Novak, principal of James B. Conant High School. It's my pleasure to welcome you, the students and parents and caregivers of the class of 2025. As we navigate this extremely challenging year, we are 100% optimistic that next year will offer us a chance to return to normal, or at least a new normal, but one that brings us back to the schoolhouse together. I took a moment today to look up some of the future forecasts and by the time the class of 2025 graduates from high school, it's predicted that solar power will be the world's largest single source of energy. Plastic packaging will be replaced with packaging made from plant material. And the commercial space industry will be ready to launch with space pilot training as an up and coming career. Let's see which one of those ends up actually happening. Parents and caregivers, Thank you for entrusting us with your child's education. It's a responsibility we take very seriously and we look forward to partnering with you. Students, you are the class of 2025. During this presentation, we will review the larger categories of the high school experience, academics, activities, and athletics. High school is a great time to explore what interests you most in those areas. Some of you will explore a course of studies in family and consumer education, or maybe engineering. Some of you will play ba baseball or maybe badminton. And you may choose to be a part of the school newspaper or student council. There are so many options and all of those combinations create a unique experience and are what make Conant High School a great place. As we welcome you, we're thinking about your first day, but we're also thinking about your last day. Our goal is for you to graduate with great memories and friends by your side. We also want you to graduate with the ability to communicate, collaborate, problem solve, and persevere when challenges arise. Most of you will graduate with a plan to attend community college or university. Many of our students begin their post-secondary experience at Harper College. We feel extremely lucky to have the partnerships we have with Harper. Most of you will enroll in AP and dual credit courses and will leave us with 15 or more college credits already in the bank. Some of you will make the brave decision to enlist in the military. And many of you will leave us carrying specialized certifications in the areas such as nursing or applied technologies. The path you choose will indeed be unique and be your own. Thank you again for your participation in this event. It's an important part of a positive start to your time as a parent, caring adult, or student at Conant High School. Next, I'd like to introduce representatives from the Conant High School Boosters. Thank you. Hello, I'm Sky Capriolo. I am on the executive board of the Conant Boosters. I have a son who is a senior at Conant and my daughter graduated two years ago. Our family has had a blast these last six years at Conant High School. Uh, the Boosters want to welcome you all to this fabulous community and of course we want to encourage you to become Booster members. You can do that in one of two ways. Uh, you can do it through the registration process this summer before your child starts or you can go to our website at www.conant boosters.com and join through the membership tab. The boosters support the entire Conant community. We are not a sports focused group. If it's happening at Conant and we can offer assistance, we do. Some of the events and projects we support include incoming freshman night, spirit wear sales, grilling at the football games, event hospitality, cougars in need, Conant craft fair, senior scholarships, mini grants for academics, activities, and athletic teacher sponsors, plus various fundraisers throughout the year. And we work with the school on one major project uh, every single year. Currently, we are raising funds to help replace the marquee outside of Conant High School. Uh, go to our website and visit the different tabs to get a feel for our group. You can order spirit wear, check out when our next meeting is, see our fundraising opportunities, and read our monthly newsletters from this year. Like I said, we would love to have you all join the boosters. It does not in any way commit you to volunteering or giving your time. Your membership dollars will be put to good use. That being said though, this is, uh, it's a fabulous community and your last opportunity to be involved uh, with your student school. Take it from me, it goes by very, very quickly. We would love to have you join. We would love to have you volunteer. Thank you very much for watching. Again, welcome to Conant High School and go Cougars. Welcome to the Conant High School class of 2025. 
My name is Bridget Kane, and I am the Director of Student Services here at Conant High School. One of my responsibilities is to oversee and support the enrollment, placement, and transition of our incoming students. We know this is an exciting time for all of our incoming families, and we hope the information we provide here helps to answer any lingering questions that you may have. Following this presentation, please make sure to check out our virtual elective, activities, and athletic fairs linked on the incoming freshman page. If you have questions after watching, we invite you to contact us by phone or email. Our contact information is on the back side of your incoming freshman transition guide. In this video, I will discuss the placement process, which is unique to the class of 2025. All freshmen will have a daily class schedule that includes English, math, biology, wellness class, lunch, study hall, and elective courses. Although the general makeup of the freshman schedule is fairly consistent student to student, there are a number of different levels for each of the core content areas. District 211 offers advanced level, college prep level, and general level courses. Within regular education alone, there are three different entry points for English, three for science, and eight for math. Because of this, much effort goes into the placement of each incoming student to make sure that they are set up for success. Because the class of 2025 could not participate in placement testing this year, we have enhanced our teacher recommendation process. The junior high teachers have a strong understanding of our curriculum and the types of students who experience success at each level. District 211 shares detailed rubrics with our partner junior high schools that tap into the multiple indicators of student success. When considering their course recommendations for our future ninth graders, we ask the junior high school teachers to consider the following for each student. Course level in the junior high, performance on academic assessments, skill levels, critical thinking ability, level of independence, quality of work, follow through, contributions to class, use of supports, and desire to achieve. Teachers submit recommendations for students by mid-December. In January, I will conference with each eighth grade teacher to finalize placements. In late January, these placements, along with confirmation of elective course selections, are mailed home for each student. Depending on their academic levels, freshmen may have time in their course schedule for one, two, or even three elective courses. Elective courses provide opportunities for students to learn about specific areas of interest that may relate to future choices of college majors or career fields. In November, you received a copy of the elective course request sheet for the class of 2025. The elective course request sheet lists all of the elective course offerings that are available to students during their freshman year at Conant. We encourage parents and students to review the available elective courses and consider ones that align with your child's academic readiness, personal interests, and future goals. District 211 has aligned its curriculum to the 16 nationally recognized career clusters. The elective course request sheet identifies which career clusters align with each elective course. You are encouraged, but by no means required, to consider courses that align to your child's career cluster matches from the Zello activity that they completed in November. Incoming freshman parents will submit their elective course choices using District 211's Student Information System, Infinite Campus. Directions regarding this process and parent credentials were mailed to all parents in November. After logging into the parent portal, click More from the left-hand index. Then click on D211 Elective Course Selection. In the next screen, you will select your student and then scroll down to indicate your first choice elective, second choice elective, and an alternate elective. Alternate electives will be used in the event that a course does not run or a course conflicts with other courses that your child will take. When finalized, click Save. The deadline to indicate elective course requests is Wednesday, December 16th. Elective courses may be modified and resubmitted up until that deadline. In January, you will receive a notice confirming your child's placement in English, Mathematics, and Science courses. The notice will also confirm elective courses that will be included as a part of your child's freshman year course schedule. Once you have received this notification, if you want to change one of your initially selected elective courses, you may do so by calling the Student Services Department until 3 p.m. on Friday, January 29th.
Students who are eligible for a third elective will also be notified on their course placement notice. Those students must call the Student Services Office by Friday, January 29th in order to add a third elective course. If you have not yet submitted the required enrollment materials, please do so as soon as possible. Failure to complete enrollment may impact the creation of your student's freshman year schedule. Illinois School Code requires that all incoming freshmen have a valid physical examination and up-to-date immunization records on file with their high school. Please make sure that you are accounting for this requirement and make plans to have your child see their physician. Please continue watching to hear from Paula Hill, our Student Services Department Chair, and J.C. Brown, our College and Career Counselor, who will speak about our guidance program here at Conant High School. Hi, my name is Paula Hill and I am the Department Chair for Student Services at Conant High School and a counselor on the Red Team. It is our honor tonight to be presenting to the class of 2025. So Student Services provides support to students in three different domain areas, academic, social emotional, and post high school. Through the academic domain, counselors will uh, provide course selection with students, which is what we've been doing this week and next week with our current students. For social emotional, we might provide one-on-one -on -one short term counseling or group counseling. And then for the post high school, we'll be looking at uh, interest inventories and assessments with students and work through some of our group guidance uh, to help students prepare for their future. Our school is also divided into three different teams, uh, utilizing our school colors, red, white, and blue. Within those teams, there are three to four counselors, a psychologist and or social worker, the school administrator, and even our school nurse. The team room approach is a one-stop shop for students to come down, get questions answered, and it is really a student-centered approach to help them through their process at school. Our freshman group guidance program is called PRIDE. Uh, students will participate in PRIDE during the first semester of their freshman year, during the first 25 minutes of their lunch period. PRIDE is meant to help students transition to high school, and we utilize junior and senior mentors to help with that process. Um, counselors are often um, able to stop into those classes about five or six times during first semester to provide valuable information to students that helps them throughout their journey at least the first semester ending with scheduling for next school year. So during Pride, students will get to meet their counselors. We will introduce to them the student readiness plan. Uh, we will conduct some of those matchmaker surveys that students have already taken. Uh, we will do some four-year planning with students, talking to them about and making sure that all of their courses fit into their plan. And then we will schedule for the next school year. So while we are considering courses for the next school year, we want to keep in mind our graduation requirements. So I'm just going to review a few of those for you here today. Uh, first of all, you do need to take U.S. history, and that is different from world history or world geography, which some of you may be taking as a freshman or as an incoming freshman in the summer. U.S. history will be taking your junior year. The next requirement would be social science survey that you will take your senior year and it will cover topics uh, such as economics and government. Uh, the third thing that you will need to do is definitely take three years of math and up to a 300 level course. So for example, if your student is starting in algebra this year, uh, sophomore year they would take algebra two, and then junior year they would take geometry. They would have taken three years of math and reached a 300 level course. Um, however, most of our students take four years of math. It's just kind of the norm at Conant. Students are also required to take two years of science. So freshman year, you all will be registered for biology. Uh, depending on your performance in biology, you will be recommended for either physical science, earth science, or chemistry for sophomore year. Technically then you are done with your graduation requirements, but most colleges and universities um, expect three and sometimes even four years of science as well. You will also need to take one unit or one year of either art, world language, music, or vocational ed. And really any of our elective areas will fulfill this requirement. Some additional requirements are four years of English. So um, that is a given. You do have to take all four years and two of those need to be writing intensive courses. Really any of our English classes are writing intensive courses. Uh, you have to take one uh, unit of consumer education and that could be a one semester class of consumer ed or some of you may be registered already for B184 which is business explorations. 
that class also fulfills the consumer education requirement. Um, and then you would do need to take two units of wellness, uh, freshman and sophomore year. Uh, different from the past, if you do have older siblings, uh, these classes do get figured into your GPA and health is embedded within those two classes. Uh, so you won't have to take a separate health class. Uh, you do still have to take PE junior and senior year, but as of right now, those will not be averaged into your GPA. You do also have to pass 30 hours of safety education. That is classroom of uh, driver's education. That's not the behind the wheel part. That's the part that costs all the money. Um, it is the classroom portion that is the graduation requirement. You have to pass the state and federal constitution tests. Those you will take your senior year during your social studies class. And then you also have to participate in state testing um, at the appropriate level, pending any pandemic, right? Um, so at this time, I will pass this over to Mr. Brown, who's gonna share a little bit more information with you. Thanks, Mrs. Hill. My name is JC Brown. I'm the college and career counselor at Conan High School. Our next slide here is gonna show you a couple different paths that you can take throughout high school. When choosing high school courses, always consider the admissions and graduation requirements for your most selective prospective college that you plan on attending. A helpful guide is here on the screen, as well as on page seven of the District 211 curriculum guide. The guide lists requirements for District 211 graduation, as well as admissions criteria for three types of post high school destinations. The power of 15 is one of our goals in District 211. The goal is to have all students graduate from Conan High School with the equivalent of 15 college credits. This goal is called the power of 15 because students who earn at least 15 college credits while still in high school are more likely to experience success after high school. Students can earn this college credit by AP courses or advanced placement courses as long as they earn a passing score on the AP exam. Students can also earn college credit by taking dual credit courses. Dual credit courses are ones that provide both high school credit and college credit simultaneously. The District 211 curriculum guide and the freshman elective request sheet identify both AP and dual credit courses. Students can earn two years of free tuition at Harper College through the Harper Promise Scholarship. Students can earn up to two years by meeting the following criteria. They must maintain solid grades during each grade of high school, as well as graduate college ready by earning a certain test score on the SAT. They must also have good attendance, do not repeat any classes, and graduate on time. Students will also need to complete community service hours each year of high school. More details will be coming out throughout high school and students will automatically be enrolled during fall registration. Summer school is a great way for incoming freshmen to begin to acclimate to the high school experience. There are a number of summer school opportunities offered through Conan High School. For freshmen, those opportunities include math preparation, skill building, preparation for AP coursework, and elective coursework. Please look for the summer school catalog, which will be mailed home to you in the spring. This summer, Conan High School will host orientation sessions for all incoming freshmen and their parents. These will be facilitated by school counselors, and these 60-minute orientation sessions provide small groups of participants with a deeper understanding of the school's curriculum and programming, guidance service model, and technology resources. The specific orientation session dates will be sent to parents in the spring. The Pride Mentoring Program sponsors a kickoff event in August before school starts. The date for the class of 2025 is August 4th. Students are invited to school for a welcome from many student activity groups and students will also receive their schedules and have the opportunity to walk around the school. All right, so at this point, if um, you do have any questions, we would definitely encourage you to uh, review your transition guidebook, and you are more than welcome to call the Student Services Department. I know that um, also re um, referring to the department chairs and sending them an email may be the best source for you. Um, and our curriculum guide will have information for you regarding any courses that you may be inquiring about. We strongly encourage you to check out our elective videos. Our departments have put some time into that and some of them are, are pretty exciting. I had a chance to, to sneak a peek at them. So have a great night and thank you so much for watching our video.